January 1st, good people gathered in Windsor, Ontario, Canada at the Tower of Freedom, a monument to the Underground Railroad movement. They gathered to commemorate the 400th anniversary of the first enslaved peoples from the African continent, documented by slave traders, brought to the British colonies in the Americas. Dutch warships carried those taken from their motherlands by force to what is now the U.S. state of Virginia. At that time, the United States did not exist. Virginia was part of the British Empire Builders' plan to dominate the world. It was the first British colony in mainland North America. The London Company was commissioned by the British Crown to establish the colony. The company wanted Virginia and its fertile soil as a source of tobacco for England. The labour of the enslaved and indentured human beings, mainly taken from the African continent, would make this possible. Initially, those enslaved worked alongside white planters in the tobacco fields. But when plantation owners wanted to increase production to make their pound of flesh and pay off hefty debts to British financiers, they needed greater exploitation and greater numbers of those enslaved. They enforced a gang system for planting tobacco. All black work gangs would be watched by white supervisors. In the face of the most brutal exploitation, the enslaved found ways to affirm themselves. For example, they collectively set their own pace of work despite supervisors' demands. Plantation owners were enraged by this collective resistance which threatened their profits. They introduced racist notions to justify forced labor and cruel treatment. Today we stand on the shoulders of all those who came before us. We will not forget. We cannot forget.